Welcome back to the channel guys, my name is Pwn, appreciate you tuning in to another video. Today we're going to be talking about the most efficient way of earning coin and leveling up your factions inside of Sea of Thieves. It's a very simple method and you can knock out all of this at once because it is the best loot the game has to offer. These come in the form of the skull raids. Basically, when you go into a server and you see a giant skull cloud in the sky with glowing beaming green eyes, it's basically a beacon telling the whole server, hey the best loot in the game is here right now. Come form a line, and that's exactly what may happen. You may go there uncontested and have no one to fight. And if you do this right, about 30 minutes of your time, and you're going to walk out of there with 10 to 15,000 gold and a lot of reputation earned for each of the factions. And if you do have some conflict or you're struggling, or maybe just going in there with one or two people, this could take a bit of time, but it's still the best way to earn all of the best advances and progression in the game. So I'm going to give you the best tutorial I can to get through these as fast as possible. Now, the whole process starts with you finding these skull islands. You may jump into a server and there not be a giant skull cloud in the sky. So what do you do? You basically leave game, restart your team back up, jump into a server again, and then basically on that spawn island, do a big 360 and see if you see a giant skull in the sky. If it is, go to it. Load up, get your supplies, and just haul tail. If it's not there, don't worry. Just repeat the process. Leave the match, reinvite your friends, queue up again, and hopefully this time they'll be there. It usually only takes one or two tries. It's not like it's going to take you ten tries, so don't be discouraged if it's not there in the first one or two attempts. And this is the best way to farm this. Now, I'm going to give you some tips so you understand how to actually take these little raids on. Now, they are basically set up in a horde motion, so what will happen is just waves of enemies will happen to just come at you from various little spawn points on this island. And there are a bunch of different ones, so I'm going to guide you through how to tackle these because some of them have weaknesses and ways to exploit them. So the basic ones that come out are going to be your guys with just the blue bandanas around their head, your traditional skulls. Some of them have guns, some of them are melee. You kill them by basic means. Another one you may run into are the ones that are basically covered in different types of flowers and grass. It basically looks like a skeleton crossbred with like an ivy sword. It's pretty obvious. These are easy to take down with swords. So generally three swipes, knock them out. You do not want to fight them in water though, so stay out of the puddles. Now, another enemy you may run into are the Phantoms. These guys are kind of creepy, they're really cool. These are vulnerable to light, so if it's daylight, just kill them by any other means, you know, sword, shotgun, whatever you want to do, tear them down. If it's nighttime, you're going to want to have a buddy jumping around with a lantern. It immobilizes them briefly, leaving them vulnerable for you to shoot, and they are very, very weak. The last type of skeleton you may run into are the golden ones. They move very slow and they are very very tanky unless of course you get them in the water and then they rust up they turn a little bit brown when this happens just unload into them they are weak so all you got to do is guide them to water now that you know the type of enemy you're going to be fighting i'm going to give you some tips to kind of expedite this process so you're not spending an hour at each one of these locations during random engagements you're going to want to make sure that you always leave a person on the ship put them up in the crow's nest but he needs to be your lookout at any time another ship can come along and really complicate things. You never know when you're gonna take on water, if you're in the middle of a storm. You just gotta have a guy as a lookout. And I know it's a little bit slower, you may not wanna be that guy there, but you're there for loot, and he plays a pivotal role in your success. Next up on the list, another thing I can tell you is that scattered randomly around this little island that you're fighting on are red little barrels. These are gunpowder barrels. They are very, very explosive. You're going to need to put these in strategic locations and wait for these waves to spawn or, you know, as you're bringing the golden ones out to the water, set that right there at the ledge and just completely blow it up and kill all of them at once. You can use these tactically to really speed things up so that way you can just erase a wave just like that, save one of them for the boss, and do not be afraid to kamikaze suicide on top of one of those barrels. You'll respawn right back on the ship a few seconds later and you can kill the entire island boss or an entire wave if you can by just sacrificing yourself. It really speeds things up. Now, that is pretty much all I have to tell you. Get familiar with the islands. There's generally two places to resupply your weapons. I would recommend you to take at least one person out there with a sword. It is really going to help speed up some of this progression. You're going to be able to take down those grassy guys as quick as possible. He's really going to play an important role during this fight. It's all about trying to get these done as quick as possible so you maximize your earnings and your reputation earned. After you've cleared the island, you've cleared the vault, you've loaded it onto the ship, you take it to an outpost, you cash it in, and you get all of that profit. And then you leave match and you do it all over again. You start server hopping till you find another Skull Island, and then you do it all over again. Now, it may not be the most fun in the world, but it is definitely the most efficient way of earning and progressing your factions and vendors, period. 
Thanks for watching, guys. If you enjoyed, feel free to swing by a live stream. We're going to be doing that tomorrow, and we do it consistently. You want to come in and even get involved. Of course, it's cross-play. You can join me anytime you'd like at twitch.tv slash thepwnstartforhire. Looking forward to seeing you guys there. Subscribe if you're new here. Thanks again for all the support, and I hope this has helped you.